Hello and welcome to my channel. Since Thanksgiving is usually forgotten between um, Halloween and Christmas, I decided to give just a little bit of celebration and turn some of my favorite Thanksgiving foods into drawings. First up, it which has always been my favorite, even though it's not technically just Thanksgiving meal, is um, mashed potatoes. And of course, for this drawing, I want to make it look more fluffier since my chair has always been a little bit cute, lumpy, and it wouldn't be good if you didn't get a lot of it. Which is, of course, the main reason for her body type. Um, I definitely want with more um, rolls on her body, more fat, of course. And I also wanted to make her soft and new to her because she's always playing a support to the food. She's never like the main course just by itself if you do your weird. But it's just, of course, just a small thing, of course, inside that is just perfect and amazing. And one thing for her outfits and her hair, I just wanted to go with, um, as long as it's just fluffy and round, it was perfect. So that's the thing I went for. The line art and everything was pretty good. It was nothing different more from the process, but I definitely wanted to talk about the coloring. Um, obviously I added brown because I wanted to emphasize more on the um, matches and gravy because holidays is when the gravy is really added into the mix. You don't usually do it mostly on normal meals or just um, when it's just on like on a like afternoon meal. But usually for holidays, I see more people bringing out the gravy to put on um, mashed potatoes. And I like the brown gravy a lot more better than the, um, the added fat gravy. But usually you add like the um, added fat gravy like for biscuits and gravy, not much like for potatoes. Honestly, I really like that concealed difference. A lot of people aren't going crazy with gravy and just splashing it everywhere. A nice thing between two types of food and occasionally with some other things. So after I did all her close um shading, I went to her skin, and of course getting her skin is probably one of the most funny things I did in a while. I not only just shaded her skin, but I went back and just gave her like some light makeup, which was here a little bit later. I gave her like some cute blush where like she had like a little bit of life in her face. And just overall just make it look extra cute. Now what I'm putting in her hair is not peas, it's not. Um, it's supposed to be like the different seasonings that you put into like um, mashed potatoes, like garlic and like the little garlic pieces. And I do add a little bit of pepper. It might look like some type of vegetable, it's not. It's, her hair does not have vegetables in it. I just wanted to make her have like a little bit of pop of color that when you looked at her she looked a little bit different. Overall it turned out pretty good and I absolutely love her. Next up is just the turkey. Um, I don't really have like a full opinion on turkey. A lot of people is always between turkey and ham. Me personally, I'm alright with either. I don't really favor one over the other. I just, it's definitely... Like, it's definitely like a staple for Thanksgiving, but I don't know how much it is a staple to me. Um, for her body type, I wanted to go with a natural body of a turkey. Um, really wide at the top, but like has skinny legs at the bottom. So already having that as a base kind of set me up for um, 
just a little bit of hardship, but not too much where I couldn't handle. And I wanted to like make it look a lot of the distance with the wind. And so her hair was absolutely like just flying everywhere. Now the worst thing that was hard to make for me is the clothes. And you see me doing it here. At first I tried to give like a feather skirt, but I realized I do that way too much for dresses. So I tried to um, just go where the wind takes me. And I turned it into a cute little cardigan with like a jumpsuit on. And I absolutely loved that outfit a whole lot better than what like a dress. Mainly because I get tired of drawing dresses sometimes and I did it especially with the last one like a little skirt like a half um, t-shirt half skirt so I definitely drawing pants with a cardigan is a lot more cuter it's a lot more my style actually and overall I just enjoyed the overall outfit just better Although I didn't like Turkey as much, I definitely loved his drawing. It was amazing to me, and I loved the cardigan, I just loved the style, I loved the little different um, patchings, because in my head I imagined like little patchworks so we can make this cardigan. And I just overall loved the style. I wanted to add a little bit of color to her um to her body without making her all the exact same darkness of color scales. I do add like some white tips to her hair. I go over and try to make her um, jumps a little bit brighter, and you see later I had to make different layers so I can color in um, the feathers and just put it like on a blur filter because in my head it was way too long to blur all these, and so I just do it individually and then eventually I'm just gonna merge them all together and just erase all the access that it left. Overall, she was definitely my favorite of this video. And I just, I absolutely love just making a character like this. This is for a different style, but honestly, because just fashion, of course. I love her fashion, I love how she looks, and overall she just makes me completely happy just to see it all. Alright, that's going to be it for my Thanksgiving video. Everything will say, please comment down below, and if you guys want to see, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.